Hey guys, what's up? It's Aliza, and today's video is pretty, pretty, pretty cool because I feel like it's been anticipated both from my end and hopefully from your guys' end for a very long time. I did film a video like this a while back and a lot of you guys seemed to like it, so I decided I would film another one. And I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but you know what? We're here now. If you're new to my channel, then hi there. My name's Elisa. You guys should definitely hit the subscribe button and also the little notification bell icon because I do post videos weekly. And if you're into these types of videos, you will not regret subscribing to me. I'm just going to be sharing some DIY room decor ideas slash organization ideas with you guys. I'm a sucker for going to the Dollar Tree just to like literally like hunt down pieces and things that I can like use and create like a DIY with for my room. There's honestly like so much you can make from the dollar store. It's insane. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes slash thumbs ups. If we can, then I'll do like a DIY dollar store party video or like a DIY dollar store hacks video. I feel like that is also something that's like useful. I don't know, but if you guys want me to do that, let's see if we can get this to 100 likes. And without further ado, I'm just gonna throw you guys right into the video, so let's go. The first DIY I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is an organization life hack. Um, it's basically this like DIY holder. So for this, I just got this white pencil holder, I think, from the Dollar Tree. And then I also found these flowers at the dollar store. I thought that they were a steal because you could just do so many like different DIYs with them. So I picked them up. And all you really want to do, it's fairly simple. You just want to take a glue gun and then go ahead and start applying um, to the back of the flowers and then just kind of pressing them into the holes of the holder and kind of just letting them dry so you want to go ahead and do that and i just went ahead and i lined the flowers on the top not rim but like the top part of the holder of course you can decorate it however you want to but i thought that it looked the best like this and then you just want to let it dry and ta-da it's done of course you can put your pencils in this because it was a pencil holder but you could also organize it by putting um your makeup brushes in here or anything else that you would like to organize and you are pretty much done i honestly adore this life hack now moving on to the next one, I have this DIY coaster for you guys, which is awesome for like mugs or any drinks that you guys are going to be drinking. So for this, you're just going to need this like mirror that I found at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're like coasters or mirrors, I'm not sure. And then you're also going to need some um, jewels or gems, like stick on ones, and then as well as the flowers that we kind of used in our previous DIY. So you just want to start placing them onto the mirror to kind of like see where you want them to go and then after that you just want to hot glue them and press them down so they're like stuck onto there and the next step is just decorating the um, lining I guess or the edge of the coaster with your gems or your stick on like pearls I went ahead and decided to use the clear like gems for it but you could of course like do an alternating pattern between the gems and the pearls or all pearls whatever you want to do and ta-da you are pretty much done with your DIY you can place it anywhere in your room and I think the flowers add such a spring look and vibe to it and of course like just go ahead and put your drink on it and I don't know I just think it's super cute and definitely adds a pop of color to your room Moving on to the next DIY, which I think are my favorite ones, are these little um, plants. And yes, I found these plants from the Dollar Tree. I actually like screamed when I saw them because like to see this was such a steal for me. So all you're gonna need are those mini plants and then you're also gonna need paint in whatever colors that you want. And then for decoration, you want to use um, some paint pens as well as some washi tape to kind of help you paint. So this washi tape I'm kind of placing around um, onto the pot just to help me um, get sharp lines while I'm painting so it's not like a mess and it's just easier to work with so you just want to go ahead and kind of paint your pots whatever color you want whatever style you want these are just some of the things that I was doing and once it dries you just want to slowly peel off the tape so you get that sharp line there so go ahead and do that honestly this is like so much easier ever since I found out that hack I've been using it so much and then for this pot i decided to add some glitter and mod podge to it and then for this one i'm decorating it with a gold paint pen and then you know just doing other decorations with other paint pens you can really do whatever you want let your creativity run wild and then let everything dry and you are done you can place these anywhere in your room and they add such a vibrant look to it 
Moving on to the next DIY, it's kind of this like wall art, I guess you could say. So for this, all you're going to be needing are some wall decals. I got mine from the Dollar Tree and don't mind mine, I've had them for like months so that's why they're all bent and ugly. But I promise yours won't look like this. Um, so you're just gonna get those and then also some fake flowers from the Dollar Tree and you can do whatever flowers you want. This is actually optional and then you're also going to need some gold spray paint. So it's pretty easy, you just wanna start spray painting the decals just to make it look like it's not from the dollar store and you spent like super like um, insane amounts of money on it. Um, so go ahead and do that let it dry and once it's dry you can go ahead and peel it off and then just start applying it onto your wall and again excuse mine they're all bent because I've had them for forever but yours will not look like that you can place it in whatever order you want um, I'm sure you guys will do a better job at this than I did really but just go ahead and do that and then you just want to de-stem the flowers and go ahead and attach those onto the wall as well and I just used um, double-sided tape for this and it worked fine but you can use whatever you want to and ta-da you are done with your wall art that again livens up your room and the last DIY, actually this is my favorite, not the plants, but it's this like canvas art, I guess, or painting. So for this, all you're gonna need is this canvas piece from the Dollar Tree, and I screamed too when I saw this. Um, you're also gonna need some paint as well, or whatever materials you want to start decorating it. But like I said, I screamed when I saw this because you could so easily like put quotes on this or like put any type of drawing on this as well like if you want to do a unicorn you can go ahead and do a unicorn if you want to put like a tumblr quote or a pinterest quote you can also do that but i decided to just paint mine because i found this one like painting on pinterest and i thought that it looked super cool so i'm just like painting it right here and then after I let that dry, I also decided to add some glitter onto my painting just to give it some definition and depth. So, you know, that's what I did and I fell in love with it because I love anything glitter. So you just want to let that dry and then ta-da, you are done. And I don't know, I just thought this was a super cool hack because it looks like you can get this at Target or something. Alright guys, that was it. Comment down below letting me know what your guys' favorite DIY was. And if you guys happen to recreate any of these, send me pictures through social media, like through Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. So bye!